welcome back to the channel appreciate you taking time to watch these videos as always it's an early Saturday morning at the end of October here in the UK it's been mega wet if it was any more wet I think I'll be developing webbed feet but nevertheless this morning it's finally not raining it's still been wet though and uh, the boat's coming out today so before I go and have my cup of tea over with the boys and women that do all the maintenance in the yard here I'm just gonna get my boat ready get all the curtains down get the canopies up so that when it's my turn to get the boat into the hoist there's no rushing about no making mistakes and I can set the GoPro up so hopefully this year you'll actually see me hopefully get the boat into the hoist without pranging it so let's get the boat ready and after seasoning in the water still it's pretty clean I'm pretty sure that's due to the fact that once I've polished it for this year I tried it out putting ceramic coating on it and it seemed to work it, the bird poo comes off really quick and easy as do all the other stains actually anyway let's get the boat ready at this point I've reverse the boat out the mooring I've got two helpers from the yard crew with me helping out um, and in a second I will clear the windscreen so I can see where I'm going there we go um, and it's a case of just going up and down the marina channel until the hoist is in place on the slipway so it turned out to be a long day for the yard crew today we'd already started by making some few jetties up ready for some new jetties to be put in on what we call the west bank of the yacht club but as soon as the tide started coming in, uh, my boat's got a shallow draft, so I was the first out. But we had 11 boats in total to lift out for the day. So for most of us, by the time we finished, it was at least a seven hour day. And what you need to bear in mind is actually everyone involved with the lifting of the boats, repairing all the jetties, it's all done on a volunteer basis. So no one's getting paid for it, except the club for the activities that are performed. So I think it's a quite a quite a good show of the fact we can get 11 boats out in a single day. I've sped this bit of the video up just so you don't get bored watching it, but ultimately I'm just going up to the slipway to see if they're ready. They're not quite there, so I just spin the boat around, take it back past the slipway, and I can see that they're getting the rig there. So it's time to turn around and start heading into the sling. Right, so here we go. This is the brown trouser moment. I think everyone every year starts to get when they're taking the boat out for the winter. There's quite a stiff breeze pushing us off. It's hitting me on the nose now. So I'm trying to line the boat up with the port side of the cradle so I can turn the nose into the wind just as I get there. The trick is to go at the speed that you want to crash, which is hopefully very, very slowly. So now I can bring the nose to starboard, point it into the wind, a small bit of power before the nose gets the hoist, into neutral, then a stern, slowing it right down so that the crew on the rig can just walk it into the cradle for the rest of it. No 
good? And there we go, straight in. Yeah. The strops are tightened up to start lifting me out. And that's it. Brown trouser moment over. All we've got to do now is get it out of the water and into the compound and chocked up. I'd like to have a cup of tea and change my pants, but we can't because we've got another 10 boats to get out. So I've sped the video up now because you don't need to see me taking all the time to get into the compound, but we are moving very slowly in reality just to make sure there's no slipping on the uh, strops. Thankfully, I've only got a short journey into the secure compound uh, where they're gonna put me for the winter. Now, I'm on a small rig, but we have a huge rig for those boats that have got a lot of length and also a lot of width, and it can extend hydraulically, but this is very much uh, the rig for the smaller boats. As you can tell from the windscreen, the weather is terrible, um, but it's still always good fun working with the fellas out in the yards to get the boats lifted out and to do the jetty repairs. So we've just lifted out another six boats after mine. We've got another three to do, but I've just come back to the boat to get my coat because uh, it looks like it's absolutely going to hammer it down. Um, but Hopefully you've seen on the video now, I got it into a sling without praying in it. We've got it chocked up without it tilting like it was last year. And the most important thing is, there's no damage to the boat like there has been the last few years when it's come out with the bent railings. So until next time, I'll see you on the next one. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do me a favor and hit it. It really would be helpful and appreciated. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care, bye bye.